love you anymore. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine. If you're new here, I'm a rising sophomore at Harvard University, concentrating in neuroscience with a secondary potentially in ethnicity migration rights. And today I'm going to be making a video for the second installment of my back to school series this year, 2020, where I'm going to be talking about the school supplies I'll be using for this upcoming school year. These are all pretty much catered towards online learning. This is what I'm personally planning on using during this online semester of remote learning. Learning, and I'll be talking you through some of the choices that I made with what I'm going to be bringing with me because a little update I am actually going to be renting out a place in Boston with some friends for this upcoming semester It's cheap where I'll be able to save money while also getting out of the house and being near campus just for some semblance of a normal school year So obviously I'll be talking a little bit more about that in the future as it happens But it is official. I will be going back to Boston just on my own terms not going back to Harvard regardless I'm really excited um, because I know that it'll be a lot of fun. I'll be able to make a lot of really cool content for you guys Also a quick note because I just realized I didn't mention I am coming to you guys from the ground I haven't filmed on the floor uh, Before and I have some string lights here. They change a lot like the setting how the lights are flashing and stuff So if that bothers you, I'm sorry. It's not too noticeable, but just fair warning I also wanted to give a quick disclaimer because I didn't buy any new school supplies uh, for this upcoming school year Besides one thing which I consider to be an investment. You'll see that in a second But I didn't buy anything new really because I'm not the kind of person to buy school supplies for the sake of buying new school supplies every year I'll only buy what I need if I need it. You honestly might have seen a lot of these supplies in my school supply video from last year I'm just I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste money like that, you know? With all that being said, though this was a little rambly intro, uh, let's just jump right in. So I guess I'll start off with some of the bigger items just to work my way around. I will be reusing my same backpack because I'm not gonna be traveling around as much, but if I do, um, this was really reliable. This is um, a state backpack. It's very sturdy. It was well used for this past school year. Not necessarily the biggest, but it was big enough to fit everything that I needed. I really enjoyed using it during this past school year, uh, during my freshman year, and I will definitely be using it again. And honestly, like the bottom is barely worn at all, which is something that I've had issues with in the past with my other school bags. So I'm really happy with this. I'll be using it again. Then this book stand. You guys ask me where this is from all the time, all the time, all the time. So I put it into the FAQ section of the description box. I got it from Amazon. You can honestly find similar ones anywhere, but I personally use it uh, as a laptop stand mostly where you put it on the shortest setting. So it's just elevated the slightest bit. And when I put my laptop on it, then I'll be able to see the screen where it's elevated just slightly. And you guys see that in a lot of my vlogs too, but that's just how I've been using it. However, you can also use it for textbooks and such. It's really um, multi-purpose. It's very reliable. Um, I bought this as an investment intentionally at the beginning of last year. I know I'll definitely be using this for many years to come if it does not break, which I don't think it will anytime soon. <laughs> Knock on wood. Then moving right along, I think I showed these notebooks um, in my school supply video last year, but these are Muji notebooks. It was a pack of maybe four or five, and it was very cheap, and these notebooks are really good quality. And so if I have any classes where I feel like I have to take uh, physical notes, then I'll definitely be using these notebooks right here. So just a little close up. And then I have a larger spiral notebook. This is just a simple, Black Staples notebook. I think I got it while I was on campus, so you guys might not have seen this, but I got this as an extra just in case for the spring semester, and spiral notebooks are honestly really, really good for jotting quick notes or scrap paper if you're ever doing practice problems of any kind. So I think spiral notebooks are really reliable in that sense. Also, graph rule notebook because I did take math last semester. And then also, I found it's really good just for like STEM classes in general. I like the way that the graph paper keeps my notes and my writing really neat and organized. It's very very easy to organize for notes that involve lots of numbers, graphs, anything like that. And just in general, it's definitely up to your personal preference, but I like having one on hand just in case. And so that's why I like to keep my supplies to only the bare necessities, notebooks that could potentially be dedicated to specific classes, a regular spiral notebook, and then a spiral graphing paper notebook. So 
these are all the physical notebook supplies that I will be using. Then last year I had two pencil cases. One of them was just to store all of my unused supplies like pens and pencils and scissors and stuff like that. And then the other one carried all the supplies I always had with me in my backpack whenever I was walking around campus and from class to class. But I think this year because I'll mostly be in uh, the place I'll be staying in in Boston, I'll probably only need one but just to show you what I will be bringing with me anyways. So these are all the unused Muji pens that I have left over from last year so obviously I'm not gonna buy any new pens because look how many I have and Muji pens last a long time so I'll be using these for this upcoming school year these are the gel ink pen uh, in black and I use 0.38 milliliters so I think that's a little controversial most people prefer like 0.5 or 0.7 but I go all the way thin 0.38 then all of my colored Muji pens I like having colored pens on hand because as you guys know I like to make my notes very neat and pretty and organized and aesthetically pleasing so I need to have colored pens for that so those are all found in my very very basic uh, black staples Pencil case, very simple, standard. Then the one that I carry around. This was also in my school supply list from last year. I honestly can't find where this pencil case is from. It says Edge Collection, conducted by Tumong. So if anyone can find where this is from, that would be amazing. But in terms of what I have in here, I just have, again, a lot of Muji pens. I love Muji pens. I have a pencil sharpener if I have only wooden pencils. And then I like to use mild liner pens, which I'll show in just a second. White out, very simple, but I need it, especially if I like taking pretty notes. And then I personally prefer uh, mechanical pencils if I am using pencils. So I use, um, honestly, whatever's on hand. So this is 0.7 millimeter lead with a pencil, a very standard mechanical pencil. <laughs> and then as mentioned, I like using mild liner highlighters. So these are a 15 pack. Obviously not all of them are in here at the moment, but some of them are in my pencil case. And I think it's from Target. I really like mild liners for my highlighters and Muji for my pens. Pretty basic, I know but I honestly found them to be very, very reliable over this past school year for my notes, so I will continue using what I have. And then getting to the end of my like physical note-taking uh, supplies, I have my bullet journal. This is a, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it, but it's a light blue dotted uh, graph paper notebooks. I use this for my bullet journal. And if you want to see, I did make a bullet journal video earlier this school year i think setting up for 2020 so you can check that out and then this very basic black notebook i think i got from harvard so i was using this for journaling and such and i think that's something that i want to try to incorporate into my daily routine because i started it this summer like during quarantine but i want to try doing it also during the school year help me keep my thoughts organized work through my emotions uh, because I know this upcoming school year will probably be a little bit challenging to say the least so I want to make sure that I'm prioritizing my mental health however I can so I will be bringing this with me and as an added side note my water bottle I really love this water bottle it's a Takea it's yellow it's beautiful it's very very sturdy and handy always want to make sure I'm hydrated wherever I go so this is definitely part of my school supplies and then finally into the techie bits so first we have my air Pods. I have a very cute uh, AirPod case from Kakao. They kindly sent me this just as a little gift. Um, so if you ever want to check out any of their products, you can check it out in the link in the description box. This isn't sponsored. I just wanted to let you guys know that they have really cute supplies for the upcoming school year if you are interested in that. So this one has a little finger ring so I can hold my AirPod case without worrying about dropping it. So yeah, this is definitely perfect for those Zoom meetings, um, you know, lecture videos that I'm watching. Headphones or earbuds of some kind are a staple for online learning if possible. These are definitely coming with me to Boston. Then we have my blue light glasses. So I actually technically have to use these whenever I'm staring at like my screen and stuff like that because it strains my eyes. So these are prescription blue light glasses. They're from the brand Vogue Eyewear. So if I just give you a little I love these. They're very cute, honestly. I'll put the model number somewhere on the screen or down below. I use these when I'm working at my laptop, uh, at my desk, looking at my phone. These kinds of precautions are definitely important. Uh, if you can, you want to make sure that you're taking care of your 
eyes while you're staring at screens all day. Then of course for online learning, laptops are really important. So this is the MacBook Pro. I did mention in my last school supply video that I got the Dell, I think XPS, but the one that I got was really not working out. It was failing on me. It was like blinking with weird color. Like it would just flash on and off and it wasn't turning on sometimes. So it was a whole big mess. So I just immediately switched over to MacBook before the school year started. It has been amazing. It served me well through all of my note taking sessions, going to class and lecture, carrying it around with me everywhere, especially during quarantine with Zoom meetings and all that. And I've decorated it with a bunch of nice stickers, as you can tell, just to make it a little bit more personable. And then for that piece of tech that I was investing in that I mentioned earlier, I got an iPad. And so this is something that I bought with my own savings. I was really, really happy about it. It's the iPad Pro. And I got this case from Etsy. So it's really nice because it has a little slot right here where you can store the Apple Pencil. And then it still lets the Apple Pencil charge in the side. So this is something I've been using a lot with like everything, honestly, like making thumbnails for YouTube, Korean Association, pub materials, using it obviously to take notes. So I'll definitely make an iPad video later on down the line once I'm a little bit more familiar with it. I'm certainly not a pro uh, by any means. So I'm still learning how to use it. I only got it maybe like, or two ago not that long ago but this is definitely a piece of tech that i invested in for myself again with my own money and i hope that it'll make online learning maybe a little bit easier for me but i just want to say that if you can't get an ipad or any kind of tech like that for this upcoming school year that's totally okay so long as you have access to a computer you know desktop a laptop and you have pen and paper. That's really all you need to do well in any school setting, whether it's online or in person. I think that's like some sort of misconception. You need to have the best tech and all that. I had a really old chunky laptop for all of high school and of course I still did well. I mean, I was able to get into a good college and so I just want to make sure that everyone knows uh, the tech that you have does not make or break how you do with your education. And of course, systematic uh, inequalities and disadvantages to those who can't afford to have higher tech or you know better supplies or anything like that. That's an entire conversation in its own right. And I certainly do understand that that can definitely provide for an uneven playing field, but I don't want anyone to think that those kinds of you know disadvantages will completely bar you from any access or opportunities to you know higher education or anything like that that's certainly not the case so if you want me to talk about that a little bit more i honestly can for sure um but i just wanted to let people know that you know i do acknowledge that these are hardships that exist these are disadvantages that are valid and that regardless of whatever position you are in i'm rooting for you uh, i'm here for you and i'm here to talk if you ever need to but aside from all that i think that is it for my school supply video this school year hopefully this helps at all again i want you all to know that in the long run it is how you approach your own education that will really impact how you do in general so if you have any more questions you can leave them down below i will also leave a full list of everything that i mentioned and if there's a link to anything online that will also be down below thank you so 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 much for watching i hope you're enjoying this back to school series so far let me know if you have any more video suggestions be sure to go follow me on instagram the handle is somewhere on the screen right now i post on there a lot more often i'm a lot more active on there so you can follow along with my daily life and yeah i think that's it so i will see you guys very very soon bye